Welcome to Glow Up or Get Out. Okay, so Happy New Year to everybody. It is not New Year's Eve for us yet, but it will be. <laughs> so today's episode, we wanted to talk about our 2020 resolutions, how that went. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about our new resolutions for 2021. My first one for 2021 is to spend more time with my family and grow those relationships. So... I guess specifically, I just mean like, obviously 2020, we didn't get to spend time with our families all that much, if at all. Yeah. So that's what I mean by spend more time with them. Got it. <laughs> and then growing them, I think I want to spend, a, or I know I want to spend a lot more time with my niece and nephew. They're like getting to the age where they're going to remember the things that we all do together. Yeah. And like they start like making those traditions in their own head. Yeah. Uh, so... You want to, like, integrate yourself into their lives. Into their lives. lives as much as possible, yeah. yeah. That makes a lot of sense. So, 2021. Cute. So, my first goal or resolution is to work on my relationship with myself. This has been, like, obviously... You feel like you are always working on yourself, but I think that there's been certain years where I pay more attention to the things that I, like, want to do for myself um, versus, like, just saying, like... I want to meet new people or whatever. It's more like genuinely like putting the attention to me. Yeah. I like listed a couple things that I want to do, I guess, is like begin a consistent routine of like self-exploration. And by that, I mean like, you know, either doing things like journaling or taking a course on self-growth or something, like something that's going to be consistent yeah. for like periods of uh, like months or whatever. And just kind of, I guess another thing is I want to somehow have a documentation of that so that I can see the progress because I think I'm, I'm best at like being a visual or I guess visual learner of like seeing how things have progressed in my life. Um, yeah. And also just I'm a very nostalgic person as well, which makes it a lot more sentimental if I have those things like recorded or just documented in some form. Yeah, I agree. Like looking back on my own like journals, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Seventh grade Sam was really <laughs> lost. They're just, the the journal entries are just hilarious, but at the yeah. same time, like when you were writing them down, they were probably really hurtful, hurtful or, or traumatic or yeah. whatever. I think that's kind of like the fun part about it that like you don't think it's so serious anymore and it's kind of fun to like look at that shit and realize that like life isn't yeah it's not that it doesn't have to be that serious going off of yours do you think it's like the whole realm of self-exploration so like growth and then like also just getting to know like who you are better on top of growth like both? yeah yeah so I obviously I feel like from exploring or doing self-exploration you're gonna have self-growth because you're gonna have to like learn more about how you run and how you like like to see the world and so yeah, yeah I think they like go to, they go together for sure but yeah like other things that like I just also want to get into like my passions more too like other things that I'm interested in and seeing whether or not if they click with me because sometimes you know you think you want to do something and then it, yeah. you start to do it and you're like oh doesn't seem very fun. You're like, oh, this is actually a lot of work. Like, for example, I used to want to be a lawyer. And, like, now doing... I'm only a legal assistant, but, like, doing legal assistant work. Like, the I'm words. Like, I'm like, yeah, no, absolutely. that I can't do that for the rest of my life, you know? Yeah. So, just kind of stuff like that. Just literally taking the time that I have in my life and making use of it by, like, doing things that I want to be doing to explore more about myself. Yeah. Going off of that, I also put personal growth as one of my resolutions, which is super vague, but I put, I guess, like a couple notes also, which would have been like, be a better person overall. As I said, listening, That's good. empathy, helping those around me and being involved in like charitable things. Mm -hmm. So like the same, but I think we should be like more specific, like maybe involve ourselves like in at least five things throughout the whole year. That's yeah. Like volunteer work or donating money or like whatever yeah like saying those and then like you said you're thinking of once a month or something enrolling in a course because i was literally on etsy and i saw candle molds and i was like maybe might i be could fun. start selling candles dude i know i started to like 
I've been wanting those after look at talking about the goop candles. So I've easy been to make. yeah. I was thinking about like the other twisty ones that everyone's been like, that, like making. Go. Yeah, and so like I just looked at a bunch of a bunch of videos and was trying it because I kind of want to give it as a gift for somebody. Mm. And I like tried it out and it was really hard. But I'm like I think I have the wrong handle first of all like to be doing this. But like it seems so fun and so easy. Like why can't I just make them? And especially if you just like bought cheap pre-made candles and melted them. That's what I'm them. saying. It's so easy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's, Anyways. It's, it might be a side gig for us. It could be a passion project, <laughs> another one. <laughs> but yeah, I think you're right. Having like multiple or having specific things that you want to be doing is a lot more attainable than just having like a general big goal, like be better to myself. Like what does that look like? You know yeah, what I mean? So what like, does that mean What are you? some certain specific things that you can be doing? And like don't overwhelm yourself and like have 500 like 30 things 30 charitable events yeah no <laughs> like come on just be like okay i want to be doing this at least once in the year yeah. the other thing you know a couple times a year because it, it probably seems i don't know you just figure out something very specific you can be doing yeah but also don't make it overwhelming because then you're not going to do them you know yeah. start slow like literally even just journaling yeah like i'm gonna journal every week that seems like an That's, attainable goal yeah. for sure like hey i'm gonna do that or once a month however however <laughs> crazy that sounds to you <laughs> okay so going along with the first one that you just said about spending more time mm -hmm. with family yeah i also put that i put spending more time with family and closer friends because i do i've always considered like my very close friends my family just because i feel like i've i do have cousins and stuff but i wasn't ever like super close to my cousins yeah. as i started to grow older so i kind of took on my friends as like that kind of family right and this is specific in the way that i had moved away for 10 months 11 months and i kind of like lost touch of like how friendships used to work um and so in 2021 also because of the pan pandemic i wasn't able right. to but in 2021 i kind of want to take care of those relationships and help them stay a little bit more steady and also with that like i think it also it builds my relationship in like my romantic relationship because we have you know more boundaries and more like things outside outside, each other. outside life yeah not to say it wasn't enjoyable just that i feel like it's been hard to trans transition overall for a lot of people and you know con connecting back to those those other friendships and your life is very important for the next year for a lot of us yeah just to feel some more normalcy it's been a little bit funky yeah i agree i think we both have the same one for the next for one. For the next one, travel. <laughs> yeah, so the I'm next like, one possible. we've been traveled, that, 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 if possible. <laughs> like, obviously. I mean, this is still, I feel like, okay. I feel like this is still <laughs> obtainable if you're very safe about it. I'm not saying, like, go across the country. Like, sorry, don't go across, like, state, I mean, fucking <laughs> country borders. Or don't go, like, international. But it's still possible to take, like, a small trip to Palm Springs or, you know, taking a trip up camping. north, camping, like just small things to get out of your current space. Yeah, I agree. I, I feel think, like that would still be possible. I think travel in a small way is possible still. Or day trips, you know? Yeah. Like, but then there's people who are like, you shouldn't even be doing that because then you see like the cashiers, you see that, which is like, it's true, well, but. Okay, so what if we did this? All we did is go to the gas station, put in gas. We bring our own food, everything else. You don't yeah. you don't touch anybody, you don't see anybody, <laughs> then what? Yeah. And we get tested, we wear masks. I feel like if there's there's certain ways to do it, obviously it's like don't do it because everyone else isn't doing it as safely, but yeah. I don't know. I think if you're doing your best and being safe and considerate, 2021 will hopefully bring an end to COVID. Hopefully. Okay, I mean that was pretty much it for our like personal personal goals. I think at the bottom I put like meditate. Yeah, which goes into self growth. Okay, self. Let's, let's just. Oh well, that's what your specifics are. Okay, yeah. Of that part of your goal or resolution of like working on my relationship with myself. Yeah, so I guess like in part of that, I had also put down reading at least one book a month, because I think before I had been like yeah, I had I think I had the same goal honestly, one book a month last year, and I mean. We'll talk about that later, but <laughs> I think it's a lot more obtainable now for me because I have been making that effort to be doing something productive in my morning that isn't like work related, just like more productive for my mind and my peace um, and sanity. Yeah. 
So doing that, I do want to meditate more often. I haven't done that in a really long time, but I think that for me, the whole part of meditation is, you know, I, I, I don't feel like I am in the right headspace to do that. Like I don't feel connected to myself enough to mm. like bring myself to that state or like, you know, I guess, and maybe that's the point also of meditation, but I just don't feel connected enough to, to try it right now. Taking those slow steps of trying further myself into this growth yeah. would help me to do the over, overall goal of like meditation. And then the last one I had put, get back into moving my body. And I didn't put working out necessarily because I don't know, maybe I want to try doing things like, you know, joining a, a dance studio just to have some movement or, yeah. you know, taking also, a class type of like place. not framing it as working out. It makes it a lot less like, stress. yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're like framing it as, oh, a dance class that I do every week. Yeah, I just feel like there's so many other things you can do besides just like literally lifting weights or doing cardio or doing like a hit workout. Yeah. Just genuinely moving your body is all you can really ask for. Just keeping yourself. Yeah, I should have put know? something about like working out my physical, my physical my phys health. <laughs> yeah. My physical health. And like, it's not even just like body wise. I think it's just no, like, like eating, I feel like, yeah, the whole thing. I just feel like low energy all the time. And I think it's because I'm not giving my body enough of something, whether it be sleep, working out but i think covid's also yeah. not to blame everything not, covid because it's also, a really good scapegoat but like, but also it feels it's like very hard to to stay very productive when you're in the same space yeah so physical health too <laughs> it ties into my it mental health in. okay all together the rest of our goals a are career business. yeah career finance these aren't like necessarily in order of like how important they are but yeah the first thing I put was launch Happy Sucky, which I don't think we've ever talked yeah, about on the podcast, but it's basically a brand that we're working on with our mentor, mentor. and it's an edible CBD lollipop brand. Yeah. <laughs> to put it simply. Yeah. But we want to like fully launch by 2021. Hopefully by like January, <laughs> not yeah. like middle of the a year. A lot sooner than later, but I think yeah. with launching comes like a whole other set of stuff that just having Happy Sucky become something in the new year. Yeah. I didn't put that one down because yeah. I saw it on her list and I think, you know, obviously Same. that's a that's a two-man project or three-man project. But yeah. yeah, so the other one I had put is creating a sustainable income from a side business so that I don't need to continue looking for work outside of my passions. And you know what? Like, I am so grateful for everything that I've experienced thus far and all of the work that I've done in areas that aren't in marketing or aren't in my specific niches or whatever yeah. places that I didn't think I would be. And I'm very grateful for those opportunities. But I do think that I want to come to a point where I am really happy every day to be working and doing the things that I'm doing and excited about them. And I haven't been feeling that way in a really long time. Um, and maybe that's because I have been focusing on like just the money aspect of things. And so I really hope to find that middle ground in 2021, you know, at least making a, a livable wage for myself so that I can, you know, still have my own apartment with my partner and so what and so forth. But making a side business like more of an upfront hustle, whether that be GGC or something else that I start or whatever, just something so that I can no longer really like work for anybody else i guess too like yeah. just i want to be a individual making that shit happen i don't know yep that's a goal <laughs> i think that's a good goal for most entrepreneurs my next one was to blog more again girl i was blogging Consistent. once a week at least for three years yeah and i was there for that three years too that shit was intense she was posting a lot it was wild i feel like you did need this break though yeah. I feel like you might have felt a little bit less creatively in tuned with what you were doing and it just felt like you needed to get things up, you know? Yeah, it felt more like I had to post every week, even though it wasn't like I had people like waiting, waiting for the weekly post. It's like I still get the same amount of views on my blog, like yeah. even though I stopped for like seven months. 
So I'm like, eh. like if I don't feel inclined to post and plus it's like, I don't have the time to, which is an excuse, but I don't have the time to like bake and like cook and do the recipes that I was doing or like the projects, like the DIY, pro whatever, everything I was post about, I just didn't make time for. Yeah. Which is fine because <laughs> I was like working on other stuff. But yeah, my goal is to post at least once a month in 2021 because I don't know I enjoy it and it's really nice to look back on every year like I'm literally using my 2020 goals blog post as yeah like for this so I don't know it was a really good outlet and I still pay for it so why the fuck am I not using it yeah I mean I guess like going back to like the whole thing that we talked about like documenting your growth yeah I think that that's Huge. like a really cool way to do it yeah start getting back into that I know and like even my Instagram I'm not considering blog more again as part of my Instagram stuff for a minute it was fun for a little while I was like oh, that's so fun to like go and take pictures and like but that was like during college when like for me personally college wasn't like super hard so it was like college was the thing I needed to get done and as soon as I got done the sooner I could get into like taking pictures and doing fun stuff with my friends and like that's all the stuff I would document on my Instagram now I'm like okay you're trying to hustle you're trying to do stuff like there's not really time to take cute pictures and so like there is and I could yeah but it just doesn't feel like my passion anymore I think it's just because it no longer feels super integrated into your like life. your real life. It just yeah. more felt like a curated thing that you needed to Like now I need to go out go of the way. And like plan a shoot, which like still when you probably were doing that before, you were still kind of planning things, but it was just a lot more like fun and Hey guys, let's go stressful. hang out. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. So, but I mean, in general, I guess going off of that, it would be fun to like take more pictures again because 2020 probably doesn't have that many like yeah, as many no. as I did in 2019 yeah so it'd be nice to like force my family to take pictures <laughs> again <laughs> I mean yeah I can I can definitely like really resonate with that I think I just miss having like a documenting type of thing to creatively express myself and look back at because I feel like memories are super important to me too super the way important, yeah they are too, but yeah. So I think we both put the same thing for GGC and that was having four full-time clients. Yeah. By the end of the year. We had like a crazy <laughs> amount of goals for GGC last year. I don't know if they all came true. I, I think we'll we still see. have those, so maybe we should go over those too, but... We'll see in glowing hour. <laughs> um, yeah, we want to have four full-time clients and these are like reoccurring clients. Yeah, because um, like I we've had like 10 or more clients in general mm -hmm. but they just aren't like signing on as like reoccurring which, which is, is a fine. whole nother story <laughs> <laughs> and then on me personally for GGC I did put create more campaigns and execute them since that is what I find the most exciting and I think this goes along with like our four four full full little four full-time clients but yeah. I do like the idea of focusing on creating and executing campaigns. Um, I will say on top of that, I want to add like working in our niche. Oh, totally. Like being more specific, which like that's who we pitch to our niche. But we've been taking a lot of work outside Side. of our niche, yeah. which is fine. Like it's giving us experience. But I think in 2021, we want to focus like on our actual yeah like dream clients I think the the reason I put this down specifically was the other day I was talking to Logan about how she was like what do you want to do in this time where you're like going to be unemployed and I was like well I really just want to like work on like getting ourselves to that place where we can shoot campaigns like a full-blown campaign like you know getting a bunch of models or something and getting a studio that like we can shoot at and having like this full-blown like production like that just sounds so exciting to me yeah and then I just started thinking like what if that was like literally our everyday lives like that would be so fucking and fun or like part yeah. of our you know possibly not get rid of other packages but like maybe make our packages like just extremely specific to what we want to do yeah instead of things that we can do yeah because <laughs> we can do it all because we can do it all <laughs> and my next one was having our full rebrand complete which that'll be done way before 2021's over yeah but i also put that down <laughs> in 2021 we want that to be done those to add to that though i had also put like have a full setup like as a brand like a 360 so including our instagram because i think we should yes we also want to put out a lot of content to show the things that we can do and the things that we yeah are really passionate about which we also going back to the instagram thing <laughs> haven't been documenting on there our own stuff yeah um for our business 
which is something we definitely are working on. It's just like we put on pause because we're rebranding. So we don't want to yeah. just keep posting for not no reason, but just posting stuff that we're not passionate, passionate about. about. Also in the same way that we like are working on personal growth for the betterment of our relationships and whatever, I think the same goes for GGC. It's like yeah. we need to work on ourselves in order to be good to our clients. Yeah. You know, I think we both put this in a different form. We want to both make GGC part of that, like being charitable part for our own um, personal growth as well. Yeah, like we, going off personal, how we wanted to do more charitable things. It yeah. goes into our GGC. We want to like host charitable events through GGC and I guess just to like give more like good to this world or just kind of also connect with our community because we should also be doing that. Yeah. Not only for like networking or whatever, but I think also just getting to know the people in our niches and in our industry on a personal level, I guess, too. I think also, It'll help us better serve them. Yeah, and also as like women in this like industry, it's really cool to connect with other women who also are doing this. Yeah. And see where we like align and struggle, you know. So I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, and even if it's just like collaborations or whatever, like say instead of, cause, I mean events, I don't know how that's going to go in 2021. Yeah. But whether it's just like collaboration, like... GGC hosts this and we put all together the brands that maybe are our clients and we send out like gift packages to homeless shelters or like whatever. Yeah. Like things like that. That would be awesome if we could do that. But we need four full time clients first. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we have clients from the past that would probably be willing to help us out. So. Yeah. You know what I was thinking the other day? I, saw, I heard some girl, I don't know when that was, but I heard some girl talk about how she went into a lot of like random like Jeez. chat rooms oh. no not like random but like they're specific for like meeting people or whatever because mm -hmm. you know how apps have things to meet others or whatever it's but like now they're business or something yeah but now they're doing it online obviously okay. and this girl went in there but i don't think it was for business purposes she just like wanted to meet new people and i was like wondering if we could like host a networking event via like zoom or something but very make it like chill and like relaxed i don't know because like <laughs> i'm like thinking in my head like would look so cute <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i think we had a bunch of other ideas like having a space where we can all like collectively share ideas and like like a studio at some point and making it a space where other creatives can come and like work yeah that'd be cool we just want to get really into our, our, uh, our community and our business <laughs> oh yeah i also added the podcast um as our final note which i mean i say final and inside i'm like girl there's so many things but we're gonna shut up my final note <laughs> is that the podcast has more viewers and an actual following i just feel like we put out really good content for people and and like if you think we have like good content or something but we deliver it funny or whatever like please let us know like we want, we want to, to better ourselves in, yeah in this and we want it to be beneficial for the people that are listening. Yeah. Otherwise, we're just wasting our own time and others. So, like, if it's not helpful, help us. <laughs> like, help us help you or whoever. Maybe you don't even want to hear anything about help. You want to hear about, like, funny shit or yeah, the funny shit more you like. I don't know. That's fine. We'll figure it out. But that's what I want to figure out next year. Like, yeah, where this podcast is going and how we can, like fine-tune it to actually engage with our audience i think that's a thing too it's not just about like number i sound like a fucking everybody like it's not yeah. about the numbers but like it genuinely <laughs> isn't about the numbers it's, it's not like more, i want a million <laughs> listens by next it's, year it's more like we just want to have again coming back to this community thing like we just want to have a community where we can engage with other people who think like us and who are you know just in the same vibration like we just want to link up because like, yeah, then we can all just like get each other yeah <laughs> like understand where we're all coming from so like by more viewers and followers i guess i don't necessarily mean because that's why i didn't put a set number i'm not like oh i want a million yeah, listens it's, it's just like i want more people like to be listening and like gaining Some. insights or companionship whatever the heck it is like we're obviously going to continue to share yeah our shit but it's just like we would really like it if somebody responded to which we have gotten some stuff, but like mm -hmm. we got it, we got more of like, oh shit, like yeah, I totally agree with you guys or whatever, like you know, just some engagement because it's like 
It's validating. It's validating. <laughs> like, we need validation. We need validation. <laughs> like, we will keep going, obviously, like she said, but it's helpful to know what is helpful. <laughs> like, yeah. we'll stop talking about this stuff that is just, like, skip, 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 which, like, we can see from analytics and stuff like that, but, yeah, like, it's nice to know that someone's like, oh, I really love when you post about blank. And maybe we're just, like, not, like, Everyone that's listening is just listening because, like, they're our, our loved ones or something. Love you guys, by the way. Love you guys. <laughs> we really appreciate it. And you guys are like, I hate everything you talk about, but I'm here because I love you. Maybe. So that's why nobody comments anything. <laughs> but I know there's a select few of you out there. I'm looking at you. I'm speaking to you, whichever way you're listening. If you feel like you have something nice to say, just say it, please. <laughs> Make a fake Instagram. Fake email. Just Not that. <laughs> something also just like we appreciate kindness in general so just like if you have something nice to say us or to say to us or if you have like constructive feedback yeah just literally if you were like oh my god i really liked that or most i really liked your sweater today you know just say some shit honestly high key talk about the fits we do get ready for these (laughs) every other day makeup on today we look ugly (laughs) (laughs) that was our 2021 <laughs> resolutions we hope to stick to them <laughs> hopefully and they fulfill happen. them we will come back next year with a podcast episode and chat about these i feel good about this year though i feel like last year it's almost like i wrote them down and like knew nothing was gonna happen because some shit was going down like i made a blog post because i knew i needed to period. and that's a really good that's a really good topic so i was like oh, period, period. <laughs> Well, anyway, what I wrote. <laughs> stick around if you want to see what we wrote last year and whether or not we did them. Right, welcome back. I almost, I almost sipped this. Well, today, yeah, we're <laughs> being real um, authentic and uh, kind of closing out the year mm-hmm. with a. Uh, White Claw was what we started with. It was, like, also the drink of summer. Yeah, it was, like, the summer moment. So, it's fitting. It's fitting. Cheers. Cheers to 2021. So, like we said, we're going to talk about our 2020 goals, which mine are perfectly laid out on my blog. If you're interested, go check out my blog. (laughs) haven't posted in a while, but there's lots of posts, like, hundreds. Anyways. My first resolution was to read at least four books what i said about it was four books aren't the craziest goal but it's somewhere to start (laughs) how many did you read this year none (laughs) literally none did you read any like book that i mean i like i've read in general got it but i haven't finished a book i want a lot of i want too much in life i want too much in life like now i'm like i really want a kindle because i love reading and i want to get back into reading but i'm like why don't you just get books again yeah dude no honestly but then I'm like the convenience of a Kindle. I get the convenience, but also like, I don't know. I think there's something special about having like a physical book because, for example, I am really into the. I literally I finished my book, the one that oh. I've been wanting to read. Nice. Um, I finished it, and it's something that I really want to share with people. And like, you can't really send a file. So like, if yeah. I want, I, like, I want you to read it at some point after probably Logan because she wants to read it next. But like. I can literally physically pass you the book on. It's kind of cool. True. I agree. A physical book it is special. It's nice. like the Tale of Despero. Did you ever have that book? Mm-mm. It's a, the one about the mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't the, think I've ever had it, but... The edges on, like, a certain edition, they were, like... Like gold? Chewed. No, oh, they were, like, chewed, chewed like a little rat. <gasps> <gasps> That's precious. I was, like, my little rat, my little Despero was... I think I did read that book now that I'm thinking about it. I love it. that I book in elementary it. school. It was like in fourth grade or right? Mm-hmm. Or something? We read it? Yeah. yeah. I think I remember it. Yeah. So good. But yeah, that was my first resolution. It didn't happen? Didn't, didn't happen, guys, which it should have. You'd think with like the time on my hands, I could have read a book. I think I just didn't buy any. Yeah. Like that was the issue because... I have tons of books in my room, but I've read them all, except for the one that I've been trying to finish, but I think I just don't like the book. I didn't even put that on this year's resolutions, but I still really want to read. Yeah. It's still part of my, some of my self-help journey. Journey. But I gotta just put reading it specifically. More. Yeah. Maybe you can, like, say, I need to read one book this year. Yeah. Period. 
And then after I read one, I'll be like on a high. Yeah, I'll be like, I want another one. Yeah. Honestly, though, yeah, reading gives you like a high. Like you need a sense to... of accomplishment. Like, yeah. Yes. Let's, let's do another one. Yeah. As for me, I think we're going to do like one on one, one and one. Yeah. But as for me, I feel like I probably did write them somewhere or maybe I didn't. I don't remember if I wrote them down, but my goals are pretty consistent every year. And I do have goals written down from 2019, like for 2019. Yeah, they're 2019 goals. Yeah, and I think they're pretty similar, but I did write them in a different format. I wrote them, I want to do more of this and less of this versus, you know, just the goal. Yeah. The first thing I wrote down was taking risks. And I feel like I did take risks in 2020. Mm -hmm. Like number one, moved to Seattle. Also moved back. Yeah. Took a whole job in a field that I had no idea about. Those are very big yeah. risks. Those yeah. are big risks. <laughs> Those I don't are like know. life and career. Those are huge. So I feel like I'm, I'm, I did that one. Followed through on that one. Proud of you. Thanks. Me, not so much. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Number two. Find myself at the beach more often. Hmm. That yeah. happened. It did. It really did. I mean, the beach is, a, it's like COVID wise, the beach was a relatively okay place to still go as long as it was an empty beach or a private beach or. Or it wasn't like a, a busy day. Yeah. Like, like you're six week. feet away from people. You can wear a mask. You know, I don't know. But I did find myself at the beach a lot more than I did in my whole life, year. probably. Yeah, we went to the beach a lot. That was so nice. God, I miss that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, I need a, That should be a goal also for next year because I love the beach. I think it made our summer really, really fun. Yeah, we learned about fish. We got really tan. <laughs> Fish. So <laughs> Not us getting slapped by fish and by the waves. It was just a vibe. <laughs> That's something you can call it. We did flips. We learned a lot. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I had down exercise for mental clarity. I'm pretty sure I had something along the lines for that for 2020 as well. That was like a off and on thing for me. Did do it. I don't think I did it to the extent that I was anticipating to do it. Mm -hmm. I... When first, when, so like when COVID hit, I was like on this high of like, I'm gonna get all a shit ton of stuff done and like get my life together. And it did happen for a while. Yeah. And then, you know, like us moving happened, getting comfortable with my parents and stuff. Our routine just kind of went to shit. Yeah. And then we moved into this apartment and then we started Chloe Ting. If you guys didn't do Chloe Ting in 2020, where you've been at that shit was bomb but also really tough yeah that also felt really extreme though sometimes so i think it overwhelmed me to the point where i didn't want to do anything at all anymore and now i'm in like a limbo where like i want to do something but nothing feels i mean we tried to do it for like three weeks in a row so we were crazy it was literally like a month <laughs> a eating month it was insane but yeah but that i feel like Kind of, you kind of accomplished it like there was there was like good months or good weeks. there's good moments yeah but, yeah. Feel that. Okay, what was my next one? Oh, beautiful. Number three, travel. I love picture. how is a picture of Paris. A picture of Paris because you guys want to know what was supposed to happen in 2020? I was supposed to be in Europe with my cousin Danny on a beautiful group trip traveling all of Europe. We are going to go to France, Spain, London. I don't remember everything. <laughs> it was so long ago that we were so planning many. it. But we were going to a lot of different places and it was going to be a big moment for me. It was going to be like my eat, pray, love trip. Yeah, by the time I make it to Paris, it's probably going to be a whole different story. It's either going to be like a best eat friend's love. trip where we're just like eating constantly or it's going to be a love trip. I don't really want it to be just a love trip though. I still want it to be like a group thing. Like, I want to meet people. Uh, me and Logan are really like, hello. I mean, there can be love in it. No, no, I'm saying like, oh, part, we can be the group. <laughs> yeah, now now maybe it's going to be like a group of us that a group I of know love. joining the, the group that we can meet more people. Because that was like the coolest part. I was like, dude, you get to meet people you don't know who also love travel. Who like coincidentally like it just felt like a fate moment. Like you're going to meet all yeah, these cool people from all sense. over the world. 
So I'm not saying I want that in 2021 because I don't think it'll happen. But maybe 2022 for my birthday. It's like the best time of year to go. So that's why I'm saying my in birthday. August. Yeah. yeah. You know, everything for a reason. It's fine. Yeah, I wasn't meant to go do my thing in Paris all to my own lonesome, I guess. Well, with Danny, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> have clean eating and taking my vitamins. Okay. <laughs> clean eating, huh? Uh, I'm vegan, so I guess like... In a way. In a way. <laughs> I gained weight. I don't, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, a good thing. It's just the, it, facts. the fact, which means I probably ate you know, differently than I expected as well. Vitamins, have them. Did I take them consistently? No, I should be though. I think that a lot of the time, the reason I feel so shitty and energy deficient is probably because I need my vitamins. Yeah. Not to say that like a vegan diet doesn't give me anything. I think it, with any diet, I feel like, right. you know, you you You're might not... need that extra stuff because yeah. our growth, like our produce and shit doesn't carry the same nutrients it once did and we're all kind of lacking some shit you know you never perfectly I mean some people I guess but you never perfectly put together your diet and your nutrition to be yeah I'm not everything like, you need I got my vitamin A my D my my C and my D today like yeah no no I got that so that. trying to get on that but like you found comfort in food which was really important this year honestly. yeah and you know what Logan and I experimented with like making our food a lot so just eating good over here you guys found winners some yeah some good shit delicious there. food oh number four post more content across all my platforms hmm interesting i said while i want consistency i don't want to sacrifice authenticity and true creativity so i said period don't <laughs> then don't <laughs> then don't yeah that was cute it was a good idea <laughs> didn't happen <laughs> i think you did for a minute and then it yeah i was for like four for the first five months, maybe, of 2020. Or for maybe four months. Yeah. I was doing good. It's okay. Don't get into it again. Here's a cute one. I wanted to celebrate my accomplishments more. Huh. That's cute. That's really cute. I don't know if I fully did this. I think that I embraced mm. things a little bit better as they came, but... Like fully acknowledged them in your head kind of yeah I don't oh. think I've I necessarily said like good for me good for me I just did that shit it was more like wow I really like got did it that. I really I got that shit done cool but I yeah I think that's still kind of relevant that would be really cool to do in the next year um, I mean I think we're gonna have even bigger accomplishments to where we feel like not that some aren't worth celebrating. I guess, like, that's the point, though, of what I, what I wrote. This is just, like, celebrating all of the accomplishments, even the small ones, because you don't... That's kind of sad that, like, if, if we feel like we can only really... Do the big ones. Do the big ones. I guess celebrate as in, like, just treat yourself or something. Like, acknowledge that it was something. Yeah. Beyond just in your head. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, number five. Reach capacity on clients for Glow Getter Collective. I said as a two-person team, reaching capacity could happen fairly quickly. <laughs> so from there, we would expand our team, um, which is I, true. I feel like we, we met our capacity. I mean, not fully, but like... And then in some like, months, we some did. Some months, we were really, bu really busy. Yeah. Um, and it started to feel like really realistic about how much energy we can give out. Yeah. We still don't even know what capacity is. Yeah. So that's interesting. Don't really know. But it's because we have... We have so many packages. It's like, well, if someone took this package and that package, then... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. We're going to fine-tune things. It's fine. Figure shit out, guys. I wrote financial independence. Mm. I think I did that. Yeah. No, you did. To say. Yeah, you did that. I did that. She did that. Celebrate. Celebrate the accomplishments. Mm, mm, mm. That was a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. Prioritize my health, mental and physical. So this is a laundry list of things. Workout routine, eating healthier, giving myself a breather when I need it, and taking care of my skin. Okay, listen, girl. You have been taking care of your skin. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think you did that. You, like, cut out a lot of stuff that was, like, bad for you. Yeah. Like dairy and all that shit. True. So I think that's a winner. You've, like, really upped your skincare routine. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think you're better about your boundaries this year, this last year. Yeah, and I was on a real health, physical health kick for like the first half of the year. Honestly, like till what? September? October? Because I was doing my walks like all the time. All the time. And then I stopped doing them to do Chloe Ting, which we did for like a month and a half. And then I stopped. Yeah. And we started Chloe Ting in like July or August. I think it was August. Period. Okay, I gave myself three months off. We started after your birthday. We did? Remember. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. You did that. Okay. One, 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 for, one for six Snaps. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mine are like too heartfelt. It's so annoying. So sweet. <laughs> it says, speaking your truth boldly. See what I mean by like too heartfelt? Like it's really heartfelt, but it's like I super specific. Think that that like speaks to like when I have an issue with like a relationship of sorts, like my friendships or my my relationship with my parents. Me speaking my truth or like what bothers me about a situation clearly and with kindness was super hard for me before, and I think that. Moving away and then coming back, I appreciate my relationships a little bit more, and I have been able to do that, I think. It also speaks to the fact that, like, before I was more passive-aggressive about it, and, like, I either let it fester up and then, like, blow out of proportion in another form. Mm -hmm. Instead of just saying, hey, this bothered me, like, I just really want to speak to you about it. Like, I don't have any ill intentions, or, like, I don't hate you, I still love you so much. But I just wanted to let you know that what you said bothered me. Like, that kind of stuff is what I wanted to bring into the new year. And I did. I think I did that, too. Did I? Did that shit. Okay, number seven. Make an effort to be more sustainable. I got stash your bags. <laughs> you also have you've been eating a lot more plant-based. That's and sustainable. And I got a hydro flask. You got a hydro flask. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been using a menstrual cup, though. That's been, been had that. Been done that. Yeah. Uh, this is about That's it, about probably it. personally. I mean, those are big. Stash your bags. Are... I don't know if y'all know about that, but you should get on it. <laughs> Target has a knockoff now, though. Have you seen that? No. I was like, oh, interesting. Was it just as expensive? I don't know. I didn't look. I was too mad. <laughs> You're I was like, like, oh. Not good enough. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. That's... I think you completed that. I feel like you're still working on it, but I feel like it's... Yeah. I mean, I don't think check, I'll ever check. be like... Full. the sustainable queen you know yeah it's too hard like zero waste girl zero I'm, waste girls i'm never gonna be a y'all zero waste girl level. i love y'all but i know. respect y'all don't know if i can be wiping my ass and then washing those towels so we'll be doing that word love toilet paper <laughs> it's a great invention i will respect it Unless we're in an apocalypse. Oh, then period. Okay, I'm being dramatic. That's so mean. <laughs> that's so mean to the people who do it. No, like, that's as brave as what I gotta say. You know? I don't know if I could do that. <sighs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Do you have another one or no? Yeah, I can fucking throw in one in here. <laughs> I can pick one out of this. I put asking for help. It's a good one. I don't know if so I... So specific. I, <laughs> do I mine are really... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Asking for help. I'm very, I I don't want to say I'm super prideful, but I think I'm pretty prideful. And I don't like asking for help because it makes me feel like I... Could have done it yourself. Yeah, or like this other person that I'm asking for help sees me differently, like incapable of. And I don't know why. I don't know why I feel that way. Because it's just like, maybe I'm not the best at this. And I, I feel like, but then I think about people who ask me things like for help ask me for help and I'm like I don't see them that way it's just more like I'm really honestly honored that you asked me that you think I'm like smart skilled enough, enough to yeah that's like a real internal mental thing yeah. I have it too I yeah. hate asking for help. me too period like when when I was freaking out over the podcast that one time and you're like let me just and I was like no don't step in I Guys, got it <laughs> I was just trying to calm her down it was just like you could see Things were turning. There was a rage in my cheeks. She was just <laughs> pissed off. And I was like, Sam, I think you just need to step away from it. Like, it's okay. Like, just step away. We'll figure something out. But yeah, I think you need to take a step back. And she was just like, no, I don't want to. And I was like, okay, it's fine. I was just like, I don't think that's going to help. I don't know what's going to help, but that's not going to help. You're Mel. like, that's not it, Mel. <laughs> that's not it. It's not going to be it. Don't. Nope. <laughs> I was like, okay, it's fine. I'm fine here. Like, okay. 
chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's definitely how it feels. And yeah. I feel like it's a work in progress, though. I obviously didn't accomplish that to the fullest, but I feel like I I'll... am conscious of it now, though. Like, yeah, sometimes I'm like, just shut the fuck up and ask for help, dude. Like, Is it wrong to feel like I'll never like actually fully change some of these qualities about myself? Like, I just have to accept that sometimes I'm a little bit unwilling to ask for help. Um, or can you... No, that's toxic. Is it? <laughs> I is think, it? okay, well, is it because, like, you think no one else can do it better? Or, like, what is it, like... I don't think it's because of that. I think it's just, like... It's not... Okay, it's I mean... It's like a pride it, thing, right? It's like, like a pride, maybe a control thing. But I don't think it's in a negative way where it's, like, I just... <laughs> like, I don't want anyone else to have it. It's mine. It's yeah. just, like, a... This is for myself. Like, like I want I need to figure this yeah. out. Yeah. Like an independence type of thing, like a... Yeah, but I think to, it, if you're leaving it to a point where it's becoming... Like an issue. An issue. And like you're Constantly not, or whatever. Yeah, you're either doing this constantly or you're coming to a point where like you... You aren't like progressing in whatever you're doing because you won't ask for help. Okay, right. That is an issue. See, I think that's the difference is that I as a person won't not ever ask for help. It's just in certain tasks or something I don't like to ask for help or I just won't but when it comes to like life like or my business I'm obviously like willing to ask for help and we have a mentor you know so it's yeah like as a person I will ask for help but I think on certain tasks that I know I know how to do or can figure out by myself I put myself through the challenge right but what I'm saying is like there's like a point in the challenge that becomes like, yeah, yeah, A yeah. detrimental thing to your mental health. I get or, what you mean, yeah. you know, yeah. Mm, it's not bad. I feel like you're just a self, like, very much like a self... Aware, self-aware. It's oh, just, like, very independent. You're an independent thinker. So, like, you, like... We're similar in that way. Like, we yeah. just like to do things on our own until we can figure it out. And if we can't... Then I'll ask for it. Yeah. But, yeah. It's, I mean, I think that's the thing. Lower the pride a little bit. Is you know? eventually we will ask for help. Yeah. And it's not at the point where it's, like, we're dying. Like, yeah. we'll ask for help before that point. Yeah. So that's why I feel like it's not... Like, you did it. I feel yeah. like that's that's to say that you did it then. Yeah. Because, like, you're not going to die <laughs> on it. Like, you're not going to die on the sword. Yeah, that... No. Exactly. So I think you did it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying at the end I'm of also... the day. <laughs> you did it. I feel like also just, like, coming to the, the understanding that, like, sometimes when I ask for help, even before I'm, like, really frustrated... Like, knowing that I can do that, like, I can ask for help doesn't necessarily mean that this other person accomplished it for me. Mm. So, because sometimes it's just, like, me talking it out loud and then I'm like, oh, fuck, I got it, you know? Right. And I don't know. See, that, that's coming back to Pride Weeks and I'm like, I figured it out by myself by talking to you. So, like, I don't know. I'm fucking toxic. Let, let me be. I'm prideful about my work ethic. We're all just a little bit toxic. <laughs> we, we accomplished a lot, though. And we learned a lot about our company. Yeah. So. It's a work in progress, guys. Like it's ourselves. A, I'm like, it's a lot harder when you're not selling something physical, you know? Yeah. It's hard to sell people on services. On ideas that you have. Yeah. Um, but, you know. But, um, 2021, y'all just keep working on y'all. We'll keep working on us. And hopefully we'll just be better people. If you have some topics that you really want to hear from us next year let us know throw them at us i think we're gonna take a break after the holidays just to refresh and hopefully set these intentions actually like we said manifesting uh give us time to do that and also work on the rebranding of our brand and our website and all that that we just figured taking a week or two whatever feels right yeah. off uh, but we'll be posting regularly again, so don't miss us. If you've missed any episodes, we have, like, 20 total now, so go back. Go back and listen to them. Uh, but, yeah, happy new year, guys. Happy new year. Happy 2021. Let's just ask for some more life, some more love, and some more light. <laughs>